Hello, sir. Oh, my goodness. Sitting at the 49ers, I thought you were going to rob the house. No, sir. I'm here about the ad. You're looking for a sitter for your father? Can we send somebody white to the mouth? My father wouldn't Arthur. see in the darkness, my dear friend. I can't hear you, sir. Nowhere to go on a loss on the play. On second down and eight, a loss of six. I mean, couldn't they send a decent person? Not like a beggar from under the bridge. No, sir. I'm actually an excellent candidate. I'm a qualified professional and I really like to help people. If you can treat frogs, if you can cure cute frogs, doesn't mean you're allowed near people, Gandhi. Sir, my name is Netik. I'm not Gandhi. Netik, Fredik, I, I, I don't care. You're no match. Take a walk. Please, sir. Please, I really need this. Or I'll be out on the streets. Please, sir. Hi. Hi, man. Yeah, it works for me. Good? Good? Sir, please. I really need this. You're lucky enough. I have no time, so here is the drill. The old man had a heart attack two, three weeks ago, and then he's gone completely deaf. He can't hear a word. That's the problem, and your responsibility is to make sure he can't do anything in the house, to the house. Don't let him near medicine because he's dumb as a baby and he can drink whatever, what he shouldn't drink, and that's but, it. But what's exactly wrong with him, sir? Shouldn't bother, my dear friend. He has one ticket to heaven, and your responsibility is to make sure he gets on the train on time. That's but, it? Sir, a heart attack is not the end of the road. People have lived healthily up to 30 years after the heart attack. And I can help your father 30, with that. 40, 50, I don't care. It's the end of the road. I have no time. Come on, man. I'll introduce you to my dad. Let's go. 59 seconds left in the half. Dead. Three timeouts for the 49ers. I brought you a scarecrow, They'll start at their 20, tied. Mask singer, so halftime report. This. He's not going to be one of the masked singers, I can tell you that. With Kurt, Terry, Howie, Michael, and Jimmy will be on the set down Dad. on the field. Look, this well, garbage man is going to make sure you go from one side to another Steve faster. Spagnolo, the defensive Good. coordinator for the Chiefs, had guys up at the line of scrimmage trying to stop the run, but San thing. Francisco still ranked. <laughs> yeah, they did. Had a minute 30, minute 35 seconds with two timeouts. And had they have done it instead, Three, this old fool needs to leave me alone as fast as possible. As they start on the ground and not that was my responsibility. Now guess what? It's yours. Came in to make the tackle as John Lynch was up in the luxury. So you can sleep upstairs if you want, or the way you used to. Outside. Anyway, anyway, man, I'm off. Yeah, man, hi. Are you there? After a two yard gain, third down coming up for San Francisco. Here tonight, the numbers Kansas City just took a timeout on defense. They have two. All right, boy. Let's taste the cookie. But sir, this is for Mr. Slater. Good, awesome. He's Mr. Slater right before your eyes, Night Nightingale. My name is Nethik, sir. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sir, what about the pills for Mr. Slater? Doesn't he have to take some pills before food? No pills. Doctors were just messing with him, just sucking money out of him. He's just deaf. That's it. No pills. You got it? That's weird, sir, because those pills are actually beneficial for him. If you just let me, I'll just quickly run to the pharmacy and get those pills. If you were such a good doctor, you'd work in a hospital. But you're here. You're a sitter. So don't even think about dragging my dad with some rubbish. Sister, people don't even want to take a look at me differently. Oh, yeah, poor boy. They're right. Want to help people? Go to your country, and we'll breathe easy without you. But sir, he really needs those people. 
come on. Are you deaf or you have nothing to do? If you have nothing to do, you can go to the basement, clean something out there, then go to the attic, sort something out there. And if you're so proactive afterwards, I'll call your boss and you'll be fired like this in a second. Got it? Yes, sir. Awesome. Hello, pharmacy? Yeah, I need to make an order of medicines. This one's gonna be 10 10 at the half. You got it, old fool? And for just the fourth time ever, as we awesome. play here at Super Bowl 54, we have a tie game at the half. 10. What's that? That's medicine for Mr. Slater. Are you idiot? We don't need medicine. But I'm just trying to help, sir. We don't need help, you stupid animal. I just need him to rest in peace. So I finally have this house. So he won't take pills, won't go to the doctor, and he won't live long. Happy? That's immoral. He really needs those medicines. My dear friend, you need a new job. I'm calling to your manager. So be prepared to go on the same bridge you came from. Hello? I want to file a complaint against your employee. His name? Yeah, uh, his name is Netic. Netic. His name is Netic. That means moral. That's something you aren't, my son. Dad? Dad, I, I was just... And you call me dad after all that? I... You left me alone here for five years. And all of a sudden, you showed up. And you said you loved me. Well, then I found out on my own what you really think of me. You are very rude. And you're not very interested at all in taking care of me. But I thought maybe you'd outgrow it. But now I know why you really came back. You just want to take away the very last thing I have, my home. Oh, I don't need your home. I mean, I need your home, but was because of him, I just got mad. I don't want to hear anymore, son. I want you out of here. Before the evening comes. Ted, I love you. Now. I'm... I'm really, really very sorry, sir. Oh, don't be, young man. It's my fault for allowing myself to be fooled. I thought my son was my only family. Family who is supposed to care for you. Family who are to take care of you in time of need. But it doesn't have to be just relatives. You're a, a decent human being, Nedek. I want you to stay here. Thank you so much, sir. I won't let you down. Thank you, Medic. You got Kittle coming across and then he leads the way, but Dwelly's the one. Mom, Dad, this is Kate, my girlfriend, and this is Mitty, her son. This is gonna ruin your future. You're not gonna succeed in life by being with the woman who's got a child from another man. I'm gonna go into hysterics any minute now. Calm down, relax, relax. I'll give him an ultimatum, everything's gonna be fine. 